thank you very much for joining us today, Spidey Hulk. We really appreciate you joining us for today's agenda. How are you feeling today? Strong? Mm -hmm. Oh, you look strong. Whoa, man. Wow. Well, we couldn't be happier to have you on this special edition Friday. You know what day it is, kids. Today is Challenge Day, and uh, you guys did it again. We have 19 days straight of perfect attendance, 100% perfect attendance. You guys checking in and turning in your work. Great, great job. Spidey Hulk and I are super proud, right? How do you like that drink? We're going to get to that drink because remember, today is the challenge and uh, we're going to go over your agenda for today and then we'll get into the special edition, the main event of this video right after we go over our assignment. So, let's go ahead and get started so we can get with that, right? Did, did you like that? Well, we don't want to spoil the surprise. No spoilers yet. All right? Yeah. Okay, let's go over the assignment. So, step number one, always check in your attendance. Click one of these attendance bubbles down here. Make sure you click that turn in button so you can get credit for your attendance for today and get that check in. Now, step two is what you're doing right now, watching the video. So, let's go ahead and jump into your very first assignment. And your first assignment is going to be uh, clue five of your mystery math. So as we go into that, you have your checklist in your packet, all right? And uh, Spidey Hulk, we are on the last clue. So we are finally going to find out where that scepter is actually uh, hidden. And so on today's clue, you'll get another one, and you'll come in, and you will cross out your last, last clue, and you'll have it, a clue, and you'll have it narrowed down to the very last thing, and it will reveal where that scepter is. So go to your packet after you get the assignment done, and you're going to check those off the list, and you'll know exactly where the hidden scepter is located. So like I said, we are going to go over clue five. It is converting improper fractions to mixed numbers, okay? And um, we did this in chapter 7. So, in chapter 7, you have multiple examples in your math textbook um, of examples that we've already done um, all of this. So, if you need some extra help, I'm going to run through and give you a couple examples and hit a quick mini lesson and so that it will prepare you for the assignment. But um, if you need further assistance, you can go to that math textbook. Chapter 7 is where we got into converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. So let's jump into that. All right. So first thing we want to talk about is, um, like I said, math textbook lesson 7.6 is that specific lesson that talks about um, improper fraction to a mixed number. So Tune into your textbook um, for multiple examples of how we do that, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how that works. So, um, the very first problem I'm going to do for you is letter P, and so on this assignment, you do not have enough room to do your work on this page, okay? You need a separate sheet of paper, just like the previous assignments to do all of your work on. If you don't have a piece of line notebook paper, um, a couple of video, uh, videos ago I told you about your packet has uh, blank pages in it in other grade levels. Just make sure they're not um, specific assignments for your little brother or older brother or sister. Um, and so you have blank pages in there that you can use for your work. But I need your work on a separate sheet of paper and you will complete this assignment page. You will also turn in your work page in order to get full credit because this is going to require some work on a separate sheet. So I'm going to do an um, example for you and it is letter P. So Phoenix, you ready? Yeah. So whenever we are converting an improper fraction to a mixed number, an improper fraction is also a fraction um, greater than one. If that's two different names that we've uh, talked about this year. So an improper fraction or a fraction with a value greater than one. So here I have 19 thirds and I'm going to convert this to a mixed number. So in order to do that, all I have to do is divide. A fraction is simply a division problem. So I'm going to take 19 and I'm going to divide it by three. I have my problem over here. Remember that we have um, our division process with D, M, S, B, right? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. You know how we remember that, Phoenix? We say, dumb monkeys swing backwards. You mean? Now that's what I mean, dumb monkeys swing backwards. So that helps us remember that we need to divide, monkey. multiply, subtract, and bring down. So let's go ahead and do that. We have two place values to fill here. Huh? 
Oh yeah, you're not Phoenix, you're Spidey Hulk. Ah oh, man, I'm sorry, I'm used to having my co-star Phoenix on here. Sorry Spidey Hulk, my mistake. Alright, let's go ahead and divide this. So, 19 divided by 3. So, I say does 3 go into um, 1? No, it doesn't. So, 3 goes into 19. How many times? Well, it goes in there 6 times, right? 6 times 3 is 18. So I'm going to subtract, divide, multiply, subtract, and then I bring down. So 19 minus 18 equals 1. There's nothing else to bring down. All my place values are filled, and 1 will not divide by 3, so that's going to be my remainder. So remainder 1. Now, in order to take your answer to your division problem and turn it into a mixed number, remember that it is the quotient as your whole number with the remainder over the divisor. So my quotient is 6, that's going to be my whole number, and my remainder is 1, so that's going to be my numerator, and my divisor is going to be 3 because that's what I divided by. Now, your answers have to be in simplest form. This particular example, actually the answer is already in simplest form. If it's not, then you need to divide and put the fraction in simplest form. So my answer is 6 and 1 third. So I would go back to my work page here, and I did, I did letter P, and it was 6 and 1 third. So I'm going to write on the line here, 6 and 1 third. Okay, nice and neat. Make sure your whole number is the, the size of your uh, entire height of your fraction, and you have your answer there. So, like I said, work on one page. Put your answer on this page, go to your clue, fill in your letters, put the P everywhere you see the answer 6 and 1 third, okay? That one was pretty easy because it ended up being in simplest form anyway. I'm going to go ahead and do another example for you. This is example E, and on your work page, I need you to label your, each one of your problems with the letter that it represents so I can see what problems go with, with what letter on your page. Everything matches up, just like we've done on the previous assignments. So, I'm going to take 18 divided by 8, right, yeah. Phoenix? So, I have that set up right here. I have two place values. Well, I did it again, didn't I? Sorry. I'm just so used to having my co-star here, and but I do appreciate you filling in, Spidey Hulk. Okay? All right. So, 18 divided by 8. 8 goes into 1. No, it does not. 8 goes into 18. Guess how many times, Phoenix? Uh, Spidey Hulk? <laughs> 8 goes into 18 two times, right? 2 times 8 is 16. I subtract, and I have 2 left over. Remember, dumb monkey swing backwards. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. I don't have anything to bring down. All my place values are filled in. So therefore, 2 will not divide by 8. That's going to be my remainder, okay? Remainder 2. So 2, remainder 2. Now, to put this quotient into a mixed number, remember, Quotient is your whole number, right, right here, with the remainder over the divisor. That's how you write your mixed number. So I have a 2 as my whole number. I have my remainder is 2, okay, and then my divisor is 8. So my mixed number here is 2 and 2 eighths. I know that is not in simplest form because I have two even numbers here, and 8 will divide by 2. So to get this in simplest form, I can go ahead and write my whole number down because that's not going to change. But I'm going to divide this 2 by 2 and I'm going to divide this 8 by 2 in order to put it in simplest form. So 2 divided by 2, guess what Phoenix, is 1. Ah, I keep doing it. Now I'm doing it on purpose, sorry. He's not really Phoenix, he's Spidey Hulk. So 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Now my answer is in simplest form. So now that I have this work, I can go back to my assignment, 2 and 1 fourth. Letter E, I have 2 and 1 fourth. Nice and neat. Everything's the way it's supposed to be. That. So, Spidey Hulk, I've got my answer there. As you can clearly see, I'll restate this again. You cannot do all of this work on this page. You need a separate sheet of paper for your work, and you need to turn that in with this assignment, okay? So, I've given you two examples, two answers to this, and then you'll know the final clue of where the missing scepter is, right? If I do it, you would to do it on purpose. I'm sorry, Spidey Hulk. All right, so let's get to the last assignment for today, yes. all right? 
Um, like I said, review chapter um, 7.6 to help you anymore, or give me a call, ask me any questions if you need it, okay? All right, last assignment for today, okay? We have <clears throat> number three, watch the video. You have another video to watch. It is the iMovie that I made of your STEM projects, and it is the car wash STEM project iMovie. It is going to be attached at the bottom of this post today. And you're going to click on it, you're going to watch it, and you're going to do what we did last time, okay? Every student must comment on this post, okay? Today's post. After watching the iMovie of the STEM challenge, okay, you need to write one, pay attention, or more complete sentences giving positive feedback to somebody about their STEM project. Okay? I say that again. Complete sentence. I had a little trouble with that last time. Type a positive comment about somebody else's project in a complete sentence. Capitalization, punctuation. Also, you need to make sure you read through the comments before you make your post. If somebody's already commented on that particular person's STEM project, you have to find somebody else's to make a positive comment about. Okay? That way, when everybody makes their comment, Every person in our class will have one positive comment about what they did on the STEM project. So, read through the comments carefully. Um, if you want to make a, a positive comment on Courtney's and say, um, I want to say something positive about that, you need to be specific. I can't just say, Courtney, that was cool. You need to explain what was cool about it. Courtney, I really love the design that you had on the side of your car wash. It was very artistic. That is specific about what you liked, okay? So, make sure that you are specific. You can't just say a generic comment like, great job, Courtney, or that was awesome, Courtney. It has to be specific about something you liked, specifically about their project, okay? I can't make that any more clear. So, good complete sentences. Read the comments first. Pick somebody who hasn't had one commented on and it needs to be in a complete sentence, all right? That is the other part of your assignment today that I'm giving you point, points on. And yes, the capitalization, punctuation, and the sentence stuff is all part of it because you've been working with Mrs. Dively all year long, typing skills. We've been working with complete sentences. So it's an easy, easy assignment. Watch the video. Make a comment. Make sure there is not already a comment about that person you're going to say something positive about um, and then go ahead and do that, and you're good to go. Remember, I need STEM projects. Already have gotten quite a few, and let me tell you something. The bar is set high for how many pennies some of you guys have gotten your canoe to hold. So I'm looking forward to getting the rest of those. We make sure that you follow my guidelines that I've talked about all week and on your checklist, and um, I'm excited to put that iMovie together. Um, we've had some pretty cool... Um, canoe videos come in, huh? Yeah. So, make sure I get both pages of the documentation that represent your plan of your STEM project, good detail and pictures, and then make sure that you send me a video using the WeTransfer. Your parents know all about this. A good video of you pre uh, presenting your project, okay? And what I mean by that is have your canoe floating and demonstrating with the pennies that you have in there and you got to tell us what you made your STEM project out of, how many pennies it's holding, and show us that it was a successful attempt. Remember, in order for it to be successful, it has to float with the weight for two minutes straight and that is a successful canoe. So, if you have any other questions, give me a, a holler. Now, we're ready for the main event of the evening, right? Yeah. Spidey Hulk? Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, I will warn you if you have a weak stomach, I, ca I caution you. How did you like that drink? Well, let's let them take a tune in, and here's the video. Enjoy. That's right, today is the famous Mystery Shake Day, and um, you guys completed your goal of 100% attendance this week, as well as handing in excellent work. We appreciate all that hard work. I do um, 
a whole bunch and that's why I'm going through this misery for you and your entertainment and to support all of your efforts. So, Phoenix, how about we go over the ingredients for this uh, famous mystery shake. What do we got? We got some carrots, we got some um, pickles, we got eggs, we got orange juice, we got hot sauce, we got lemon juice, we got um, some peanut butter, and we got some chocolate. And then we'll add a little bit of water for some uh, consistency and hopefully a little, make it a little easier to get it down, if I get it down. And so, um, I guess we're ready to start making this shake, right? What do you want to put in there first, bud? The eggs. All right, so go ahead, go over there, and start dropping those eggs in there. They feel so bouncy, like a bouncy ball. Whoa. <laughs> That's all right, pick it up and throw it in there. Got to have that yolk in there. That's extra protein. And now? Uh, and the pickles, great. And carrots, okay. And then throw the orange juice. Oh, we have a little more egg. All right, yeah. Don't want to leave out any ingredients, that's for sure. Oh, one more little. Okay. <clears throat> throw the orange juice in there. Don't <laughs> no, dump the whole thing in there. Let your mom help you with that. It's gonna be disgusting. <laughs> this makes your kids. It's gonna be disgusting. My dad's probably going to throw up. <laughs> I'm going to try to hold it down until we can at least hit the, uh, the record button on uh, the camera and end this presentation here. So, All right, now we're adding uh, the peanut butter. All right, that ought to add some great flavor. Great. Can't do it without chocolate syrup. I've done this. Lemon juice. Yummy. And sour. Got the lemon juice in there. Now for Phoenix's famous hot sauce. Oh. That ought to feel good going down. It's going to be spicy. <laughs> Okay, and we'll go ahead and add our water so all this stuff will mix um, really nice. Ew. That was disgusting. Okay, we're ready for the blender. So we're going to go ahead and blend this uh, delicious mystery shake up, and we will be back in just a second. And the mystery shake is complete and ready to go. So. It kind of smells like peanut butter. Uh, it smells like a lot of things, and it's not a uh, very good thing. So, um, here it is. We're going to attempt to get this down. So, you ready? You're probably going to throw up on me, so I'm backing up. All right, bottoms up. cooking career, it stops right now, all right? Oh, that was bad. Um, Take a drink of milk. <laughs> I will. Your I'm, I'm holding smell, it out. So, your breath smells like peanut butter. <laughs> hopefully, you guys, I think my breath's going to be smelling pretty bad for the next couple of days. But, like I said, um, anything to motivate you guys to continue to stay on track. I can't thank you enough for all your hard work and dedication. Um, let's continue to build off of that. You know my motto, keep getting bigger and stronger every single week. And so keep putting that hard work in, um, and I couldn't appreciate it anymore. We're going to really end this year um, with uh, um, the best possible year we can have, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you for all your hard work. I need to go ahead and cut this video off um, before something happens. So, Phoenix, thanks for the mystery shake. Kids, we'll see you next time. Oh, man, that was horrible.
I tell you what, Spidey Hulk, that phoenix makes a horrible shake. I, I tell you what, that's probably the nastiest thing I've ever actually um, drank. And I'm really surprised that I didn't throw up all over phoenix. Yeah. Oh, man. Because that was kind of disgusting. Oh, well, Spidey Hulk and I and phoenix are uh, super proud of you guys. Please continue to keep up the hard work. Next week, let's make it even better. Let's make our work even better, even nicer, neater, and working harder. We've only got two weeks left, guys, so let's make it the best two weeks that we possibly can. And uh, stay tuned for the next challenge. Be kind of thinking about what you want to do. And uh, like I said, we'll start the week off like we always do. We'll get some ideas. I will gather those, and we will do another vote that will put my fate in your hands again. And this week it didn't turn out very good for me. That was really bad. Oh. But I'm more than willing to do whatever it takes to uh, repay you for all your hard work, right? Yeah, it'll cut. What? I'm, he's the worst maker ever. <laughs> it had a lot of nasty stuff. I don't think there was one good thing in there. It, it had hot sauce, peanut butter, and all kinds of stuff, right? And Would you drink it, Spidey Hulk? No. No? Nope. Well. I never don't. Oh, man. I don't need to ever eat yucky stuff. Uh, does my breath still stink? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I brushed him like four times already. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Price you pay for having such an excellent class. And I do mean that. I absolutely have the best class um, in the district, and there's nobody doing what we're doing so let's keep raising the bar for everybody else let's keep this consistency up and we're going to keep having fun and i'm going to keep doing my best to make you laugh as well as spidey hulk and phoenix we're going to keep doing everything we can to keep you coming back and wanting more so with that said you know the rules phoenix uh tell them what phoenix would always say spidey hulk you could all hear what i can help me until then, stay tuned, guys. Okay, this is me. Bye. Bye. Wait. Phoenix? Yes. Oh, my goodness. He tricked us, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.